today on day three of our fabulous green smoothie challenge. You know what is interesting is that I really did not even plan to like bring y'all board on that so much and like we were gonna hashtag the pictures and I'm so glad I did that because y'all are so cute and um, somebody was asking me first of all Carly um, she goes by Carly Fay one C-A-R-L-Y-F a Y one on Instagram. She has a cute little page. I'll check her out. But she is Carla um, Dowell, I think is how you say her name. And she's always making very cute comments. And I finally saw her picture with her green smoothie and she is a cutie to tootie. Anyway, she was saying, did I miss the video where you gave the green smoothie challenge? I really did not. Uh, Y'all saw me introduce that, but I really did not say here's here's the challenge can you do it the reason i didn't do that is because yet again everyone on a different place on their journey you know why set someone up for failure that every day of their life eats at the beacon festival grease pit around here or burger king and then they're thinking okay well i'm going to do this i'm just green smoothies forever infinity and beyond until i heal and produce myself as the best vision of myself they might not be able to stick to that, right? But guess what? People can add more green smoothies than yesterday. They could replace one meal. Maybe they're already doing low-fat raw vegan, and they're going to get on board with me. I'm just having green smoothies for quite a while. Somebody, and I meant to write her name down, on Tanny Raw GS, hashtag and Instagram, because that's where they're, everybody's, y'all are putting your pictures. Um, y'all know this already, but... Somebody was giving their little girl, and she was so cute, and I will, I will find your name, sweet girl, giving her her first green smoothie. And guess what? I think this was yesterday. She had one sip, her first one sip, and today she's going to try two. See what I'm saying? More fresh, raw, ripe fruits and vegetables than yesterday. And the liquefied sunshine form is the best way to get it into your cells and into your system. For an infusion of nutrients so I was very proud of you um, and I will find your name sweet girl but also um, somebody on the YouTube comments that goes by Dizzy Dizzy hey girl she was saying um the more we start to take care of ourselves every day to create the best version of ourselves the happier we will be about the people around us in our lives. Is that not true? That is because self-love first and then you can love others. I really believe in that concept. When you feel good one day, aren't you able to, I don't know, listen to people's stuff a lot more? You know, whatever situation they're going through. When you feel better, aren't you able to lend a hand more or give more of yourself? That's what it's all about, you know, becoming the best us so we can shine upon others, right? Um, so I want, and in a minute I'm going to come to y'all with um, the best little smoothie that has fabulous diuretic properties for those of you all who perhaps have bloating or PMS or maybe you just ate too much dang salt, right? Um, and the greens are free, which is my favorite kind of greens. Um, here's some ways that I use occasionally and, and think on to practice self-love because people are always like, um, okay, well, I can love myself, but uh, how do I do that? I mean, they, they want to say, okay, I'm, I'm not going to beat myself up anymore, but they're in their same 95% thought pattern of their unconscious thoughts, and you have to have a plan in your 5% of conscious thoughts to change what you do, you know? So, um... Here's some things I do. I jotted this down for you. Okay, think of what you love to love about yourself or others or the world. Things that you have love for, okay? Like um, just what's in the world in general or your work or your home. What's something you love about your body, you know? Maybe you have nice moons on your fingernails back at the back. I, you know, I used to be a nail artist for years, and I would always notice when people had nice large white moons at the back. Um, I mean, these are things people don't even notice. 
What's something, maybe you just have cute ears, you know? Something that you love about yourself. Um, or maybe you love how you're kind to others or you're giving to others. Um, tune into what you love in life. And it helps tune you into um, a good vibration. You know what I mean? When you focus on the negative, you become more negative. The more you focus on negative, the more it grows and the more you see negative in your world. Just like if you focus on the bad news, you know. I went over to my friend Scott's the other day and I got in there and the news was on. I was like, are you watching the news? What? Are, why are you watching the news? I, I don't know that he was watching it, but he was like, I'm not watching the news. <laughs> I really wasn't watching it, Tanya. It's kind of funny. But anyway, um, I don't know what he was doing, but... Uh, so we didn't watch the news once I got there because I don't focus on that. I don't focus on the negative news. I don't want that to grow in my mind. And I don't want to think every time I see somebody walking down the road that they're possibly a rapist that's going to get me. They might be, but probably not. And whether I'm focused on that or not, it's not really changing the reality of it, you know. Um, because, you know, when you're, when you're lowering your vibration... Focusing on the negative, um, immediately your mood will change, your, your emotions will change, your heart rate will change, and you will become more stressed, which is something I like to avoid. So notice over and over the things in this life that you love, you know, focus on those things. Look at things you love at work. Say you, you work in an office where there's like little cubicles, you know, put things in there like, do you have a live plant, something that you really enjoy? Do you have pictures of your family? Do you have like a, a vision board of yourself? That would be perfect. Um, anyway, focusing on the good things helps us to grow in your mind, you know, and this will bring you up to a higher vibration, a higher frequency. Um, let's just say there's something you have anxiety about doing. Say you don't like getting on, uh, say you live around here and you don't like getting on I-85, which is the highway to heck. There are more wrecks and fatalities from Charlotte to Atlanta on that highway than like anywhere in the country. People drive like maniacs out there and you see me getting anxious just thinking about it. Years ago, I was about 18 years old. Um, I went to a school over there in Greenville and I had to go back and forth on that highway every day. This is uh, long before I had any sense to know that there was danger there. Well, a drunk driver who was caught after the fact of this came darting onto the highway from the, the ramp, one of the exit ramps or enter ramps, and ran me into the cement like pillar that runs, not pillar, but like wall that runs in between the middle of the highways, totaled my car. This is before you had to wear a seatbelt, you know, and I didn't have on my seatbelt slashed my head up, busted my head in three places. I did walk away from that, but um, it's a miracle because it was a really, really bad wreck. And ever since then, I've had an anxiety about getting on that highway, and rightfully so. However, the more I focus on that, does it change the drivers around me? Does it change what's going on? No, it doesn't. It makes me more anxious. And have you ever had somebody like a side seat driver that's anxious and they're like putting on the brakes? And my mother does this to me. It makes it to where I almost can't drive. It's, it makes the ride hazardous almost because I'm not a good driver. I feel like I'm jumping out of my skin. Well, there's a point to that story. Every time you, I go down that highway now, here's what I do. I practice these things I try to tell y'all about because they may not help y'all, but they help me, and I like to say it out loud again and again. So here's the thing. I notice, oh, you know, everything's fine. Maybe there's a lot of transfer trucks on the road, but you know what? I'm right here in my space. I am creating the safest driving experience I can at the moment. When I get there, I say, that was a safe trip. I say these things out loud like a nut, okay? That was a safe trip. I was okay. I didn't experience anxiety. Do you see what I'm saying? I heard good music on the way, and I saw blank on the way, you know? What I'm doing is focusing on the good vibe of that. Therefore, that grows in my brain, and anxiety lessens. 
It's a good little trick. You can use that with anything, especially with people, you know. Um, the more you do it, the more it seems okay. And then you can, I can say to myself, well, Tanya, the last five times you went to Greenville on that highway, guess what? It was all right. Everything's going to be all right. The more you tune in to the feeling of love and the feeling of positive Higher vibration and thoughts, the more, the, the more you will notice that, right? Oh, that scared me. Look at yourself, your whole self, your body, your mind, and your spirit. The more you bring all these things together, the less like you will have anxiety about, I don't know, your thighs. When you realize that your body is a vessel, a temple in which your mind and spirit live in, can you appreciate it for where it is today and notice the good things and what you love about it? Because, you know, I heard Oprah say that one time, all those years of dieting, and so accomplished is Oprah, but yet all that she can't seem to manage is her weight. Love that raw vegan Oprah, in case you're watching. But the thing is, she said, when she got to be 50, instead of beating herself up, she started to have self-love for herself. She started to notice that her legs took her where she wanted to be. And her hands created the things that were beautiful to her, you know? The hands reached out to people she loved. Her eyes saw all the beauty in the world. Start seeing yourself for the beautiful creation and creature that you are, you know, so that you can be on a different frequency and quit dragging yourself down into the gray matter and the gray people of this world. Eating the gray food, thus getting the gray results. I want to live in high vibration, bright, vivid colors. Um... You know, your whole attitude about yourself cannot ride on if you are five pounds down or not. Stay on this lifestyle long enough. More greens, more raw food, less of everything else. You will eventually get to your ideal weight. You know, when your body is re ready to release that weight. On, on the opposite note, I'm not saying eat 5,000 calories a day and dream of unicorns and lollipops and it's going to happen. No, it's not. Get up and do the work, you know. But in the meantime, be patient with yourself. That's my point. Um, unconditional love starts with self-love for yourself, you know. Being present in the moment of every choice. Here's another thing that can bring you to the moment. When I sat down to do this video, I thought, I like to sit right here because I, it's, it's good light, it's bright enough, and um, I have everything I need right here, and then I can stand up and fix my smoothie because that's where I'm going next. But did I choose a chair that was comfortable? Did, just like right now, whatever choice you have in that moment, like when you choose your clothes for the day, are you just going to put on the shirt you wore last night for pajamas? Are you going to put on something that you feel good and special about? Not that you have to be dressy. Maybe it's your favorite t-shirt that says, give a hoot, don't pollute, you know? Maybe it's got a hole in the shoulder, whatever, but you love it and you feel good in it. Or maybe it's cozy and you're going to, maybe it's your paint shirt and you're painting some cabinets today or whatever. But the thing is, be present in that moment of choice and realize, realize when you're looking out this window that you can see the dirty screen or you can see the beautiful plant right beyond it, you know? Choose the beauty in each moment is my point. Um, but I wanted to say how proud I am of y'all for doing your green smoothies and I love how you're showing your beautiful faces on there with your green smoothie. And, and y'all are like showing the greens and it's so sweet. So in just a bit, I'll come back to you with the um, smoothie with diuretic properties because you don't want to take over the counter diuretics. These things ruin your kidneys and they are bad. But there's a natural way to get rid of the blow, right? And also detoxify yourself if you had um, a slight step back on your journey. So... Dress yourself in your love today, you know, so you can love others. <laughs>